Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Last year I recorded a video about PASB codification. Since then there have been some changes, so I thought it's time to give you an update. In this video I will discuss free enhanced online access to the accounting standards codification and the advanced functionality and tools available to users. For those new to this topic, I want to review the basics first. The Financial Accounting Standards Board, or FASB, developed the Accounting Standards Codification, ASC. The primary goal in developing the codification was to provide all authoritative literature related to a particular topic in one place. This simplified user access to all authoritative U.S. generally accepted accounting principles. The codification established the way GAP is documented, presented, and updated. For more information about FASB codification and how to use it, watch my first FASB codification video. I'm posting the link here and in the description below. In the past, the FASB codification could be accessed at the FASB website. However, access to the full functionality of the codification research system required a paid subscription. The Financial Accounting Foundation recently launched free, enhanced online access to the accounting standards codification. You can now access ASC at the website asc.fasb.org. This is what the homepage looks like. I will post the link to the website in the comments section. Click the checkbox, I'm not a robot, click on the access button, and accept the terms and conditions. You are now on the welcome page. All users are now able to access the advanced functionality and tools in the accounting standards codification. This is what's now available. You can do a keyword search with the ability to filter your results. When you enter a keyword, for example, revenue, the system will show you all sections, topics, glossary, and tools, and other sources in the database that contains the word revenue. To narrow it down, use filters. Click on the Show All Results button. Then select which area you would like to research, sections, topics, glossary and tools, or other sources. For example, search topics. Note that the system will show you all related topics, including those that were superseded by new standards. For example, topic 605, revenue recognition, was superseded by topic 606, revenue from contracts with customers. The go-to functionality allows you to key in a specific location within the codification. For example, enter topic 606 and click on the go-to button and the system will take you directly to that topic. Click on the subtopic links to access sections and paragraphs. You can use the cross-reference and source tracing tool to identify the original standards for the codification content. Click Tools on the vertical menu and select Cross-reference and Sourcing tool. For example, select By Codification, type 606 in the Topic field and click the Generate Report button. The system will show you the list of paragraphs for this topic. You also have access to archive content and pending content system. For example, go to topic 606, subtopic 10, section 05, overview and background. Then click on the archive link at the top of the screen. You will see all archive and pending content for this section. The system will also allow you to join and combine content on a single page using Show All in One Page. Scroll down to see this option. And finally, the system also now offers multiple printing options and the use of cut and paste functions. Additional resources explaining the advanced features and full functionality of the FASB Accounting Standards Codification 
are available on the codification site. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe, hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you are notified when we release more videos like this. Visit my channel to view more videos on financial and intermediate accounting. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next video.